The Marine Corps was founded in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, November 10, 1775, at a local brewery and tavern named Tun Tavern. Throughout the world on November 10th, Marines celebrate the beginning of their Corps with a birthday ball full of tradition. Marines commence the festivities with a cocktail hour before the formal ceremony. The ceremony begins with the birthday message from the current Commandant of the Marine Corps, followed by the reading of the message from the 13th Commandant, General John A. Lejeune. In 1921, General Lejeune issued Marine Corps Order No. 47, summarizing the history and tradition of the Corps. Order No. 47 also directed that the message be read every year on the 10th of November. On November 10, 1775, the Corps of Marines was created by a resolution of the Continental Congress. Since that date, many thousand men have borne the name Marine. In memory of them, it is fitting that we who are Marines should commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glories of its long and illustrious history. The record of our Corps is one which will bear comparison that of which the most famous military organizations in the world's history. During 90 of the 146 years of its existence, the Marine Corps has been in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to the Argonne, Marines have won foremost honors in war and in long eras of tranquility at home. Generation after generation of Marines have grown gray in war in both hemispheres and in every corner of the seven seas so that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our Corps, Marines have acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion, until the term Marine has come to signify all that is highest in military efficiency and soldierly virtue. This high name of distinction and soldierly repute, we who are Marines today have received from those who precede us in the Corps. With it, we have also received from them the eternal spirit which has animated our Corps generation to generation and has been the distinguishing mark of the Marines in every age. So long as that spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal to every emergency in the future, as they have been in the past. And the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to a long line of illustrious men who served the soldiers of the sea since the founding of our Corps. The cake is then cut, the first piece going to the oldest marine and the second to the youngest. The cake ceremony represents the passing of tradition from generation to generation. The ceremony concludes once the cake and escort detail leave. Dinner, dancing, and general revelry follow the ceremony as marines celebrate the most loyal, feared, revered, and professional fighting force the world has ever known. <laughs>